Arturo Riera here with the San Jose Jazz Summerfest, and I'm going to tell you about our Latin and our salsa lineup right now. We've decided to put Latin jazz everywhere. You're going to see Latin acts on the main stage, as well as a whole bunch of other venues. You're going to see folks like MacArthur Prize winner uh, Daphne Spireto do something really, really exciting as a trio. Every single song that Daphne's plays will be made up right there at the festival, right on stage, brand new, never been heard before. Yosvani Terry, a lot of people know him on the straight ahead jazz scene as one of the best saxophonists in New York, but many don't know he's also a great Cuban folkloric saxophonist, and he's bringing a combination of Latin jazz and Afro-Cuban religious music to the festival. Our Latin jazz jam with the great John Santos on Saturday night, Anybody can sit in and play with John Santos. His first set, he's going to play his, uh, his own music, but uh, for the rest of the night, anybody with an instrument can come and sit in with the great John Santos and his John Santos sextet. We're going to finish up with our big band. I'm talking about a big band, Arturo O'Farrell and his 18-piece Latin jazz band. You may know his father, one of the biggest authors and producers of Latin jazz in the 50s and 60s, Chico O'Farrell. Arturo continues the tradition out of New York. For Los Bailadores, for the Salseros, we're still going to have a very dynamic salsa stage. Opening up, we've got the great Josh Jones doing a tribute to uh, Ray Barreto. And uh, Ray Barreto, as you know, was a great uh, Latin jazz band leader, conguero, and also uh, one of the Fania all-stars. We're gonna follow up with another Fania legend, Luis Romero, y su masacote. So we're really excited to think about Friday night as our New York Salsa Dura night. Saturday, we're opening with uh, Futuro Picante. We believe in young people and young bands and the next generations. We also have, uh, Pal Bailador, Orquesta Saboricua that day, uh, really kind of New York style, Puerto Rican themed music. Um, and then we go to a band that's been in the Bay Area for 26 years, Edgardo Cambon y su Candela. And Edgardo as a percussionist is bringing somebody very special from Cuba, Calixto Oviedo, who is known as a timbalero and in the 70s and 80s really for doing a descarga style music, descarga being kind of free form jam and finish up with Ricardo Lembo y su Máquina Loca. He's born in Africa and he sings in many, many languages, but all of them are salsa and all of them are danceable. Sunday, we're opening up with the Latin Jazz Youth Ensemble of San Francisco, and once again, a youth band, but don't be fooled by their name. They're gonna play 90 minutes of hard driving dance tunes. I would call Sunday Day of Cuba, groups like Carlos Caro y su Visión Latina. We're also gonna have Pellejo Seco, uh, playing a more traditional son style of music. We're bringing back somebody from last year that really set the festival on its ear, Will Campa y su Gran Unión, truly Cuba's number one dance band today. He's going to close out the festival for us. And the thing about Will, he puts on a show. It's a little like being at the Tropicana in Havana, right? So that is our festival, San Jose Jazz Summer Fest, Latin and Salsa Stages 2013. Arturo Riera, Mr. Latin Jazz, Come on down. I think this is going to be one of the best Latin and salsa festivals we've ever had. <laughs>